now, Johnny, I've got a very actually interesting question, one that we may have to spend a bit of time today on. I was working with a client, a filmmaker, that are doing great, great things in the north of England. And they basically, we were having a coffee. And this is pretty much the essence of the conversation. They were saying to me, I've been running this website of mine and the blog for years now, selling my video production services as well as promoting my own films and I feel like I'm just repeating myself I feel like I'm just going through the same things over and over again am I missing something and well we've all had that feeling uh so to begin with to, to my client and to all of you listening it's exactly the way to feel sadly that you are the expert you've got that curse of knowledge and you feel like you're just repeating the same basic stuff that you don't find particularly challenging, but actually your audience is going to find very, very useful and informative. But um, what say you, Johnny Ross? Well, uh, we've we've definitely all been there, and you sort of look at you know you, you whether you're writing, whether it's uh, podcasting, whether it's video, you always get to that point of oh, should I continue? You know, what's the point? Um, you know, are people reading, listening? Are they engaging? But the answer is, as long as it's high quality, as long as the quality is there, as long as it's helpful, you absolutely should be. And there's so many um, things that blogging can solve with inside the business even. It's not just from a marketing point of view. There's so many other uh, reasons to blog. I mean, one of the things is just a, a way of keeping yourself up to date and keeping you uh, in the moment and making, you know, uh, by by producing content, you're having to keep up to date. You're having to challenge yourself. You're having to think about things. You're having to think about business processes uh, and um, and how people engage with your products and services. So even just for that reason, uh, the, you know, the, there's countless reasons. But I, I guess in in the sort of quick summary is that we all feel like that at some point but there's lots of reasons why blogging is so important i like what you've said about you know we should allow ourselves to do content creation which is more for us for the team and for internal purposes you know almost kind of creating a knowledge bank that others can then use not not uh, you know, always doing something solely for the client. But I wonder, and that's something you and I have tackled in the webinar series when we launched a program, whether the, the challenge or the solution begins by challenging the term blog, you know, th those four letters that somehow are so meaningful they become meaningless. I mean, you know, if I say blog, what does it conjure up in your mind compared to the person next to you? So I think what we should do is remind everybody that um, a, a blog, if you want to use a term still, will have typically four types of content. So the first one, which is what you hinted at, would be the industry news. So you are seen and heard being helpful by reporting back the, the most important news from your industry and that of your customers. So there could be actually two you know, assigned to, to the coin. So that's number one. The one that then comes after that is what people typically do is the practical advice, you know, the, the Q&A. And this is where often people say, well, I've already said that, I already explained it. And we can look at ways in which you can upgrade and upcycle your, your content. The, the third one is, is, of course, the free resource or the, the, the free downloadable or whichever term you want to use. And then the fourth one is, of course, the company updates. I mean, I think it's important for customers to know that, you know, your organization is, is going places and is growing. So, and I sometimes use simply the, the mantra of, you know, what have you done? What have you been? Who have you met? You know, as a way to summarize what the company update can be like, which I know people find a bit awkward, but I can assure you audiences love to know that you're passionate about you know what you do and you have interesting stories so i think blog is is uh, is is the term but you've got to train your mind to think oh that means industry news practical advice free downloads and company updates yeah and it can be in lots of different formats as well can't it so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be written it could be uh, audio it could be video or it could be a mix so it could be you know if if i think about it when I first started blogging, I saw blogging as the core of my marketing activity and and writing a blog would easily turn into five tweets for Twitter. It would turn into a debate on LinkedIn. It would turn into something for YouTube. But I think it's slightly different now. And 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 it might be that the content starts uh in as a podcast or starts as a as a video or starts as a blog but then but you know it can then turn into a blog it can turn into a podcast so so, so that's the that's sort of the first connotation that i think it's important to bear in mind that 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 
people do have uh, negativity around the word blog, especially because Google, um, uh, uh, must be about four or five years ago now, did demonstrate that it was giving less rank to blogs. Uh, but that was because people were keyword stuffing blogs um, mm. and, were, and we were, were using them for the wrong purpose. They were using them purely for an SEO purpose. Now, of course, there's SEO value there, but it's all about helpful and resourceful content. And as long as it's helpful, as long as it's resourceful, then you're doing a great job. And it, it, yes, it can feel like you're repeating yourself, uh, you know, if you're blogging on a weekly basis, perhaps. Um, but it's about looking at some of the content that you've done in the past and actually enhancing it or bringing it back to life or making sure that it's actually still current and up to date. So sometimes it's it's important that you repeat yourself because you need to actually set it correct for the the, the year that you're in. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I, I, um, it's almost like, so I've moved house and we're going through, you know, the reasonably enjoyable job of <laughs> updating, you know, planning, painting walls. And, and we went to a store to buy the carpets. And as I was listening to the lady looking after us, I was thinking, this poor thing must be answering the same questions with every single client because I mean I know nothing about carpets Johnny I mean I, I, I probably last time I had to con be concerned about them was that 10 years ago when I, we, we had a house near Newcastle so and I'm thinking but but that's the job isn't it Johnny that you're the expert and um, people come to you as a newbie all of the time so how do you deliver the message in a way that you know is enjoyable to you do you change uh, format you change storytelling as well but for me it's also something we shared in website call to action look at your stats look at the best performing um, articles and do they need just you know that element of re-updating uh, i've seen some clever things where people record a 90 second video summary about what the article is about i've seen people uh, in, embedding social media reactions you know so you can do a lot of things that are not particularly time consuming to to kind of um, you know bring that but that's the job you have to repeat the basics over and over again <laughs> and 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 i would say you know if you are stuck in that feeling like you're repeating yourself and not really you know should you be doing it it's time to revitalize and it's time to one of the best ways to do that is to feed yourself full of ideas and information so subscribe to competitors subscribe to industry related news uh, set up google alerts follow people on instagram on tiktok that that are doing similar things to similar products or services to you look at the competition it's so important because you can eat so easily get left behind but at the same time you can learn things and and start talking about these things and you can still come across as the expert as long as you uh, own the content that's the most important thing it's owning it and it's putting yourself in the minds of the clients and and your customers and thinking what are their problems and how can I solve them? And what are the things that I can tell them that are really going to help them engage and understand that we're the right people? And lastly, that thing about company updates. Well, that's about the personality, isn't it? People buy from people they like, brands they like. And the only way that you can get people to like you is by, sh well, sorry, one of the biggest ways I think by get of getting people to like you is showing personality. So revitalize and show personality and start engaging more online. Super. I always knew it was going to be a longer one, you know, of the you ask, we answer, but it's so important because it's so emotionally charged. And and, and really for me, the message is, um, if you're feeling that way, it's not equal, I'm doing something wrong. It's literally, it's just the way it is, you know, and, and, and take it back to the work that you do, all of you. And when you have a brand new client, you're going through the, the, the kind of the onboarding, if you like the term or whatever, it's always the same bit that you have, you have to go through. And, and it makes sense to me that, that the website activities will give you the impression they are repetitive, but it's over to you to make it as enjoyable um, as possible. <laughs>